these pine and cypress wreaths are so beautiful. They look so realistic. I knew what I wanted to do with them as soon as I saw them. They would look gorgeous in an entryway, on a mirror, on a mantle, on a headboard, you name it. Comment. Here are a few no hassle ways to add Christmas to your everyday decor. Adding a tree to any space gives you that Christmas vibe, but add some pine cones and wooden garland to some bowls and it's instant holiday mode. Simply add a tree beside the everyday items by your sink and this light. the holiday season you're stressing about hosting yeah. and so what i like to do is lean into my definition of cozy which is my five senses being at peace at once mm -hmm. and i use that as my checklist and starting with one that this vest comes in so many different colors. This is like the light beige khaki. I sized up because of layering. It's nice and lightweight, so it's perfect for this time of year. Has the snaps and pockets. Love this sweater. It comes in several different colors as well. This is the white. It actually looks whiter on line than it does here. I'd say this is more of a soft white love the bottom details and the top here it's got the buttons and it has this really cute area on the front I did find a pair of black leggings that I absolutely love from Amazon so I'm going to link those in this as well love these boots they look really cute with jeans as well so comfortable and run true to size that same outfit with the longer vest that I have. It's got the hood, a zipper, and the snaps pockets, and then it has the zippers on the side for extra room whenever you sit down. I love this. This is true to size as well. Okay, my hair loss the last couple of days has been a little bit better for those of you keeping track. Um, I have like all of these little little bangs they're about some of them are like an inch or two long so it's coming back and actually both of us feel like it has been probably six to eight weeks rather than just like the last three or four okay i'm halfway between my work so i thought i would tell you about the thyroid test so my previous doctors always tested for free T3 and free T4 and TSH. And um, that's what he does as well. All of those are normal. So I, my thyroid is working correctly. I don't have any thyroid issues. He also tests for, I don't even know anything about this, anti-thyroglobin something and anti-TPO antibodies if those two things are high a lot of times you have oh it's gonna cut me off okay let me start this over because i don't even know if i'm making sense so those two levels one of those levels came back high for me she said if both of those would have come back high what the <laughs> Both of those levels are, if both of those levels are high, they would have recommended a no gluten diet because gluten is very hard on your thyroid. I don't eat gluten. So only one of them is, and she said, we want to get the, infl it's inflammation is what it is in your thyroid. She said, we want to get that inflammation down. So I'm going to take a supplement. I asked her what could have caused that. She has no idea. I said, could COVID have caused it? And she said, yes. I also asked her, would that be the cause of hair loss? And she said, no, she's never heard of that. She said, I really think because we see it all the time that your hair loss is from having COVID. So nothing to do with my thyroid. All is really well. It's just that one um, number is up. So I'm going to try to get that down with a supplement. I forgot. And then I have it rechecked in six months. So I will keep you posted. I am supposed to take a bovine colostrum supplement. <laughs> Doesn't that sound tasty? This took, or Deb and I did, took this frame off of our frame TV. So it's just leaning up against there. 
This is the one that I've never loved the color. I didn't like the one in the kitchen very well and I redid that one with Rub and Buff and I love it so much. I want it to match more of like this brass chandelier. So I'm gonna give this a makeover and then let me go show you the one in the kitchen. This one here in the kitchen was not quite as bright gold as that one, but I love how this turned out. This looks more like an antique one. And like I said, I used Rub and Buff on this one and I wanna do this to the one in the family. I mean, look, it's like this yellowy gold. I've never been able to stand it and I'm hoping that it tones that down a lot. 